Please travel out safely, and good afternoon from Xfinity Center. Yes, it is a good afternoon. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. Maryland guard Reese Fona used to rock the number 12 jersey, and we're going to tip this off on Maryland 80 to 73, much needed victory. You've been through a lot of these tough games, Reese. What did you see that was the difference today? I thought Maryland played well defensively. Uh, I thought they played really well. They guarded well. Uh, I thought Juju dominated the paint. I thought Jameer Young was unbelievable in the win today. He was, to me, he was the best player on the court. Reese will be on the second to say he really liked what Sensabaugh did. Ohio State in, in games where you come off a pretty poor performance the past couple of times, what do you think that flips the switch for a team? Yeah, I think it's really as much the defense. I think Coach Miller got on him. I think he's got the guard. And I think it's just playing the simple game and play confident. I saw the team was confident. I thought Dante was real confident. And I think it carried over to the win today. And my biggest moment of confidence is Juju Reese plowed through a couple of people. Yeah, anybody got in the technical foul, but that, that doesn't doesn't matter. What matters is you saw emotion on the court. You saw somebody was willing to put it out to win, and that's something you haven't seen that much from Juju. For those who followed you here, which almost everybody did, what do you do with yourself now? Oh, uh, you enjoy yourself after that. You enjoy this win here today. Uh, but I think they come back from the Big Ten. You know it's a monster. So there's big games coming up. But it's good to get a win at home. The fans get a good feeling again. I just think you come back and do the same thing. All right, next game. Uh, Reese, thanks for coming on for Turf Talk. And you said you're doing some coaching. Where is that? Yes, yeah, so I'm assistant coaching. I'm the head freshman and varsity assistant at McDonough High School in Pomfret, Maryland. Uh, public school. We started 9 0. We're now 9 1. So, like you said, we got to get back to it and get back in the win column. All right, thanks for being on Turf Talk. With Viner Four Gates, you've heard the phrase, we make your company work. What that means to us is that we take care of every ticket every call all the time. If you're tired of waiting on hold for tech support, or it takes too long for your tech support company to get back to you in an email, try Viner Forgates, for making your company work is our primary mission. <laughs> Center, an 80-73 Maryland win. Bruce, Mason, you guys watched the game together. What did you see, Mason, that made a difference tonight? Uh, I think just timely shots at the beginning of the game. You know, when you're playing in a slump, you have to be active from the minute the game starts. Get quick, ball moves, and have everybody be engaged from the beginning. That sets you up to at least be in the game. You know, get to 10 points, get to 15 points, get to 20. Then you start to just be playing more basketball again. And I really think Kevin Willard brought the fire early, the early technical foul, got the crowd involved uh, going against the refs. And uh, I think it was something like 40,000 in this game between the two teams. And, well, Maryland kind of gets away. Listen, number one, number one, 30 points, says all right. He's got to do it. He's got to be the strong and stirs the drink. He got 30 points today. There's nothing else to say. Whatever they needed a basket, he got it. Whatever needed a big play, he got it. And down the wire, he was nothing but money. And let me tell you, this game was so important. This was a spiral game. Right? Because had they lost their one and four, they got to get to 10 and 10 in conference. It would have been almost so improbable to do that but now they're two and three and things are looking brighter got a home game got four home games for the end of this month and Wayne you have to break, protect your home court this would have been a disastrous loss but it didn't happen well it wasn't quite judgment day but it was close it was getting there when Maryland needed a key offensive rebound Mason, the smallest turf on the floor went in there and battled it out yeah that, that's something that Bruce I was waiting for you to say it I haven't seen in this league a better offensive rebounding guard than Jameer Young I mean, talk about a player that's active in the play regardless of where 
there it is on the offensive end. He's bringing the ball up the court on the defensive end. He crashes the glass so hard. And, and really embodies they want to play with speed. And they want to get out and run. That's something that Kevin Lawrence talked about that he was directing his team to do throughout the game. And what else helps? But your guy that's running your offense to start with the ball. You don't have to wait to pass it. You don't end up getting any of those outlets denied like they have been over the past couple weeks. You just get the ball and you go. Let's give props to Mr. S Mr. Zero today, Donald Carey. He played almost a mistakeless game. I mean, you know, he only had eight points. Maybe he had ten, ten points. He had eight points. But I think he was three for four from the field. He had some great, great fights for the ball. He played great. He played like we needed him to. But overall, this looks like a different team. However, said key to that player. And when they go to Ohio, Ohio State, you know, like it would be a different game, but those things happen, and we just have to judge it. And the one mistake I made in that was our so I turned the Raven game. Uh, I, I was dizzy. All right. and, and we know some people watching at home have the North Dakota State Championship game on. That's not going much better. In Maryland, maybe about three people. You, you, and you. Right. But anyhow, hey, when you fight for the national championship, you school, you got some great program. Great program. Look, you said that Sensible might have been the best player on the court. I definitely think so. I mean. I don't know, Jameer was so much. Jameer Young had a great game, but Ohio State fouled out. Yeah, he fouls out. And that's something when you look at this game, you're going to have to kind of take into consideration. Is early Ohio State just got some key players in foul trouble. And look, it was almost like a normal college basketball game refereeing style today. It wasn't quite as physical as most Big Ten games early with the whistle. I gotta explain the question. Did you get when Holtzman slammed the table? He slammed the table right up, right in front of the referee's eyes, and did not get a technical. I don't understand why. I, I did not catch that. He, I mean, you could hear from our seats. He slammed his fist on the table, did not get a technical foul shot. I spent the first half near their bench. They were quite unimpressed with the referee, much I think both sides. I heard you got rolled today. I, I, I only made contact with two players. I, I sat on the eye of Terrapin at the other end and took pictures, which you've been seeing throughout the post-game show. That is a much different way to, to listen to a basketball game. When you can hear the referees back, you can hear everything that's going on. In, in Maryland, because of the way the seats are set up, you're actually closer than you're supposed to be, closer than NCAA regulations allow you to be. So, yeah, you're sort of in the game. And that's why these pictures, why you're so close to the pictures, is because it really was right on top of us. When you win, it all works better. Maryland had a chance to close them out. The place was rock girls up by 10. It ends up being a back and forth game at the end. Maryland makes their free throws, closes it out. It's always a great thing to be a turf. That'll do it for today. Maryland 80, the Ohio State Buckeyes 73. Good afternoon from Comcast Center.